you've done an enormous amount of work over the years with people who are sick, mm -hmm. people who are dying. You've witnessed the healing process and operation undoubtedly thousands and, and thousands of times. Yeah. And we're going to look at some of the many stages of, of the process. Uh, when I refer to healing, I think in this context, really uh, I'm not talking about medicine so much as, as spiritual healing. And I guess a good place to start is, is to look at sort of the obvious uh, kinds of healing, that is healing in, in which some kind of a, uh, a physical recovery occurs where a person experiences, for example, a spontaneous remission mm -hmm. of a terminal mm -hmm. disease. Let's talk a little bit about that process to begin with. Sure. You know, when you say, when you ask me what is healing, I still don't know. We worked, Andrea and I, my wife and I worked, uh, when we were directing the Hanuman Foundation Dying Project, we worked for a long time predominantly with people who had come to us to ask us to help them die. And a lot of the people we worked with, um, as they came to a certain point in their process, usually including opening to the reality that death might well be in the near future, uh, began to finish business. Um, our relationships are usually run like business. I'll give you two, you give me two. If you only give me one, I'm going to take my bat and ball, I'm going to go home. I won't play anymore. So this is kind of totaling of accounts that's always going on with people. And a lot, it's real easy to think that finishing business is, uh, uh, you forgive me, I forgive you, but I'm not going to forgive me until you forgive me. Mm. And this always waiting for the someone else to give you something. But we started to see that many people started to see that the, f the end of business was no longer relationships as business. When I take you into my heart, our business is done. If you don't take me into your heart, that's your pain, and I, I feel that, but it really doesn't affect my business. Mm -hmm. And we started to see people heal their relationships towards the end of their lives, where they were really meeting other people with such mercy and such care for their well-being, that even those who were angry an example, a really extreme example. A woman we know <clears throat> had worked with, uh, her mother had been very ill. She had never really gotten along with her mother. Her mother had been very judgmental, quite unkind, abusive. And her mother then became very ill, very ill. And she was the only one of the sisters who would even go and sit bedside. They all had such contention, felt so judged, they'd really put their mother out of their heart. She decided, she was a Zen student, she decided that her work on herself was to be there for her mom. She sat next to her mom and her mom would go into a light sleep and come out and in and out as people do when they're real ill. And her, she would just sit next to her mother and wish her well, wish her well. Not, why haven't you given me this? Why didn't you do that for me? Not trying to total the accounts, but trying to let her mother, as is, into her heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the basis of relationship, as is. Because yeah. if I want you to be the least different, then you become an object in my mind instead of the subject of my heart. Where's the healing there? It's just separation. Her mother had been very nasty in her lifetime, and it wasn't ending just because she was dying. This woman, day after day, sending loving kindness to her mother, on the day that her mother died, her mother looked up at her and said, I hope you roast in hell. I hope that you have the worst possible life. Her mother died cursing her. Mm -hmm. And she died with her daughter sitting next to her, looking at her with soft eyes and with an open heart saying, Ma, I hope everything's okay for you. Now for her mom, it was terrible. But for her, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. She had really finished her business. She was just with another human being who was having a hard time. And I mean, that's a really extreme story, and hopefully we can all get some glimpse of what that one would be. But that's enormous healing. The woman who was dying died. 
the woman who was sitting next to her was healing. Who was she healing? Herself. Herself, yeah. Uh, that's all we can heal. Mm -hmm. If we're not working on our own healing, we certainly can't be contributing to anyone else's healing. Mm -hmm.